If this is your first time using any projection mapping software or indeed heavy M, this welcome screen might be a little bit daunting, but don't worry about it. I'm going to talk you through it. And we're going to look at one of the example projects. So over on the left, we just have the version that we're working with. We also have some tips and tricks. So the people that created Mad Mapper have given us some tips and tricks there. We can create a new project. We can open an existing project. So if we've already started working on something and you'll use that feature later. Over in the example projects, we have some projects that MadMapper provided. Over here, they have a learning tab where we can have a user manual and we can look at that in more detail. But let's go back to the examples page. So if I select one, so now I've got Hawkins selected, it gives me some information on the right about what it is that's contained within that project. Same with the Neon, it gives me um, some information about what's gonna happen when I open that. So let's just open one of the projects. Um, and we'll see what we can do. Oops, I've lost connection on my mouse there, but that's not to worry. So let's just make this a little bit bigger. There we go. So don't be put off by all of this. I wanted to open this just so you could see it. So here is your projection surface. So this is where you're gonna create your projection mapping. So if it's contained within this box, it will be visible. Here is where all your layers are. So this is all of the editable content within this. So if I select that hexagon, you'll see that all of that is yellow. Here up the top in green is where I'm gonna create my assets and in blue is where I'll have a little bit more control. But again, don't worry about this. In the next session, we're gonna get into the finer details of this interface and we're gonna start experimenting and using it. I just wanted you to see it before we jump in. All right, brilliant. Guys, great. All right then guys, let's jump in to the next session and we'll start looking at this interface.